Next time we have another video. We are making street tacos. Here's a rundown of the ingredients that you're gonna need. We're gonna do cilantro, white corn tortillas, oranges and limes, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, salsa valverde. I have two different kinds here. One I'm gonna try. You're also gonna need soy sauce, tajin, chili powder, garlic powder, cumin and white pepper. You can also substitute that with black pepper and some sea salt. Also, you're going to need some paprika, and we're going to do some chicken breast, flank steak, and also some minced garlic. Some of the ingredients I forgot to mention also are olive oil and vinegar. Now, before I get started with anything, I'm going to do um, a vinegar wash on my fruits and veggies here. I'm also um, going to be getting my marinade prepared for both my steak and for my chicken. The type of steak that I use is a flank steak, so I use that type of meat. Carne asada is normally put on the grill, but because I'm not allowed to grill with charcoal grill in my apartment complex, your girl is not a gas grill person. I like the charcoal flavor. I'm going to be putting this in my skillet and cooking it on my skillet on my stove top. I'm going to go ahead and cut my um, steak down into thin strips and then into smaller pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and let it marinate in a Ziploc bag for about an hour and a half. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and cut up my chicken and do the same thing with that and cut it into thin pieces. You can substitute chicken breast for chicken thighs. I know some people prefer the chicken thighs. Me personally, I like chicken breast. I'm not a big thigh girl, so I like chicken breast. So we're going to go ahead and get started with all the marinade and I'll put the ingredients and everything up here so you can see it and screenshot it before I start each marinade. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I started with my steak first and cut up my steak, and then I went to my chicken after I cleaned off my board and made sure everything was ready. Um, I have my water already made for my dishwater and everything like that. So when I finish cutting up my chicken, I still need to use my knife and my cutting board for one more thing. So because I'm doing chicken last, I didn't want to have to keep going back and forth with the chicken because of all the contaminants that can happen with the chicken. Alright, after I've done cutting my chicken, I'm thoroughly washing and cleaning my board and making sure it's dry along with my knife because like I said, I used it for cutting chicken. Here is a screenshot that you can take of everything that I'm putting into this marinade. I'm going to use minced garlic, tajin seasoning, olive oil, chipotle peppers. I'm also going to be using paprika, garlic powder, chili powder, and I'm going to be using one lime along with the zest and the juice of that one lime. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take my chipotle peppers and I'm going to use about two of them. I get the chipotle peppers in the adobo sauce and I'm going to go ahead and cut those into thin strips and then to, into chunks after that. I go ahead and add that to my chicken. I don't worry about it being in my marinade because I don't want it to get caught up in my whisk. So I go ahead after I cut that up and add it to the chicken and go ahead and I discard my board and put it back into the dishwater. Now that I've gotten that out the way, I bring my limes over and I dry them and make sure they're washed thoroughly. And then I use the zest, the top layer of the lime. You don't want to go down to the pit or the bitter part of the lime, just the top layer. I use the zest of one lime and the juice of one lime for my marinade. Now here's the thing about the way I do my ingredients. What you see on the screen is a ballpark of what I use. I necessarily don't measure anything. I go by look, smell, and that's how I kind of measure my stuff out. So I'm not a person that necessarily use exact measurements. 
So if I feel like something needs more, I'll add more. I look at it, I look at the color, I look at the presentation of it. And if I feel like it needs more, if it smells like it needs more, then I add more to it. And that's basically how I cook. I go by smell, not necessarily by taste all the time, but my smell is off the chain. So yeah, <laughs> so that's how I cook. So what you see me doing is adding my Taihan seasoning and my garlic powder and everything into there and then I'm going to whisk it up I'm going to add my olive oil in but I'm also going to add a little bit more chili powder and a little bit more Taihan seasoning and then I'm going to pour that into my chicken mixture and put that in the refrigerator until we're ready to cook it Now after I got my chicken in the refrigerator, I'm going to start on my steak marinade. Now these are all the ingredients you're going to need for your steak marinade. I do use half a cup of soy sauce along with half a cup of olive oil, a third of a cup of vinegar and I put those into my bowl and I get those ready. Now I'm also going to be using the zest of one lime and the juice of two limes. Okay, so I'm going to be using two limes for this but the zest of one. And after I do that, I'm going to add my garlic, my minced garlic, along with my garlic powder. I was running out of minced garlic. I should have bought some more, but this was something I already had on hand and everything like that. So I was cooking out of my pantry. So yeah, I always keep stuff like this in my pantry. Enough to cook a meal. Like I tell you, I grocery shop to cook a meal. <laughs> I don't like not being able to prepare a meal in my house. So I was running out of garlic, uh, minced garlic, so I added what I had left and then I'm going to substitute that with the garlic powder in there also. Now remember I told you guys, you never see me measure anything. I just add what I know I need. I've been making this now so for a little while, so I add what I know I need. I'm also going to take the juice of one orange juice. Now if you don't want to use orange, um, I'm sorry, a one orange. If you don't want to use an orange, you can use about a half a cup of orange juice into your mixture. I don't like the added sugar that comes with most orange juices, so I like to just go ahead and squeeze my um, oranges in there. If you don't have an orange that squeezes out enough juice, make sure you get about two of them. That way you can squeeze out as much juice out of them as possible. And then I'm just going to go ahead, whisk up my mixture, see if it needs anything else, and then I'm going to go ahead and add that to my bag with my steak, and I'm going to put that in the refriger refrigerator to go ahead and marinate. Now, as stated earlier, I let my marinade, my steak, and my um, chicken marinate for about an hour and a half. You can marinate your stuff for about 20, no less than 20 minutes, okay? And it'll have a good flavor of marinade with the seasonings that we're using. If you can do longer, that is great. If you can do it overnight, that would be wonderful, okay? It just may add more flavor to your food. Now, I'm going to get my skillet nice and hot. I'm adding olive oil to my pan. I let my skillet heat up real good and then I add my steak down. I try to make sure it is all spread out. Nothing is clumped on top of each other. Everything is spread out so it has its own um, sear at the bottom of each steak piece. Now while my steak is cooking, I went ahead and started heating up my skillet with some canola oil to start frying up my corn tortillas. Now I use the regular size corn tortillas, but they do have the street tacos corn tortillas that you can use. I didn't see any in my store, 
on this day so I just use my regular ones and I do that quite often because your girl can eat and I love these tacos and I would have to make like 50 of those to get full but I'm just saying so I let them lightly um, like cook on both sides for about five no not even five for about two minutes on each side and then I take them out and drain them on a paper towel by this time I'm also going back and forth to my steak and my steak is done I'm going to take it out and put it on my plate and I'm going to go ahead and get my pan cleaned out a little bit and get it ready for my chicken okay all I did was just kind of wipe down my pan with a paper towel and then I go ahead and add the oil back to my pan and I get the um, chicken into my pan and start cooking that as you can see, I'm still making sure I'm placing my chicken separately and nothing is clumped together. Every piece is hitting the skillet on its own so that it can sear and cook nicely on both sides and cook, cook evenly. And that way you can make sure your chicken is all done and nothing is sticking together. Now while my chicken is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get my cilantro and my onions and limes ready. Um, the way I cut up my cilantro is pretty basic. I cut the stems off, I take the leaves off of the stem, and then I go ahead and cut up into fine pieces and pretty much like shred it. And I chop it up real fine and good and then I'll put it on my plate. After I'm done with that, I go ahead and start getting my onion prepared. And by this time, my chicken is done. I'm going to take it off of the skillet and put it onto my plate and get everything else ready so we can start eating here in a little bit. Now, my mom is with me. This is why I have so much food because my mom is back visiting me and we're working. She was helping me with a project that you guys are going to see soon. I'm so excited, but we're going to digress. Anyway, I'm going to finish up cutting and chopping up my onions. I just cut my onions down into three slices and then I cut down the um, side of it and I just do it that way so it'll be easier to mint for me to mince up and everything. So I mince up my onions and then I start cutting up my limes into wedges and I get that ready for to be plated. <laughs> Now after we've done all that, here is the final product. We have our corne asada along with our chicken. We have our onions and cilantro and lime and we have our corn tortillas. I have the salsa Valverde back there and we're going to also eat that. Now this is my plate. This is my mom's plate. I don't eat raw onions. She does. I don't. I don't like them. Um, I like them cooked but not raw. I'm going to show you her plate dressed up because it looks better and she's going to take a bite but she would kill me if I let y'all hear the voiceover. Anyway, if you try this out, I hope you do. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. By the way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Bye.